Hi, this is Simon Obstel and welcome to this review of my tutorials for Fusion for the year 2024. I was motivated to do this because a number of you have asked where have all the Fusion tutorials gone and that's understandable. Why is it understandable? Well, because YouTube makes it impossible for you to find them. It's certainly not because they don't exist. Since the beginning of January, I have made the following tutorials for Fusion, which by my count comes to nearly 20. But because every tutorial I make has a meaningful life of barely 24 hours, there is every chance you'll have missed most of them. But there will be links to all of them in the description. So let's have a look. Recently, I made this Mechanical Spheres project that shows off some of the considerations involved in compositing 3D models in Fusion. I made this moody, shattered reflection project, an adaptation of a project I originally made for motion. Lots of useful stuff here about compositing Fusion's 3D elements. I really like this Particle Man tutorial that showed off some of the more interesting aspects of Fusion's particle system when used with an imported 3D character. I looked at creating the ultimate rack focus tool in a pair of tutorials that I think you'll find really interesting. I experimented with the 3D replicate tool to create this dynamic sphere blast project. I really liked the look of this slinky loader project adapted from a blender tutorial that I made based on an original motion tutorial that I made. I used some cool expressions to create the physics for this balls in a bowl project. This dramatic underwater scene was another project adapted from a motion original. I was excited to show you this custom shatter effect, which lends itself to some really beautiful results, I think. I published no fewer than four tutorials showing you how to do advanced modeling with Fusion's very powerful custom vertex tool. And some of the resulting scenes looked pretty fancy, I think. I also did a set of three tutorials exploring the mysterious topic of writing expressions with the Lua programming language, something that I don't think you'll find in any other tutorials for Fusion that I know of. And finally, I revisited my compositing school series and created a wholly new version of part two that looks deep into the science of advanced blend modes. So I hate to be that guy who's always going on about the utter monstrousness of the YouTube algorithm, but I need to be that guy so I can make you understand the obstacles that prevent you from seeing the content that you want to see from me. The bottom line is that I will be making more tutorials for Fusion in the future. Whether YouTube allows you to see them is an entirely different matter. So thanks for watching. See you again soon.